I've got no words. It was, I don't even know. It was nuts, man. Just to see your people bouncing. <laughs> and I'm at Neighbourhood Festival joined by the lovely Dylan John Thomas. What's happening? How are you feeling to be here today? Yeah. I was dynamite. We've got, well, that's been the first festival we've played in two years. So I've just been sitting about playing FIFA. Playing, playing FIFA? FIFA? Are yeah. you an expert now or are you a bit of like a... Well, I've won Division 1, so if there's anybody who He's plays won Division 1, can we get that on camera? And seasons. I've won everything. Won everything on FIFA? Mm -hmm. Seasons, Division 1, Cubs Division 1, shout out to Murdo and Div. Best teammates anybody could ever ask for. I want nobody else trying to be by myself. I'm without you. Or it's this keep in the hall. Picture strike on the wall. I'm above you. You picked me up when I was one. So we're catching up with Dylan John Thomas this time at Transmit Festival. I've, st I've only came half ten minutes ago, but I just still know, still know something. Mental, man. How is it to play a gig at your hometown? How does it compare to a crowd anywhere else? Well, I, it's special, do you know what I mean? Because we had this site what, the, the, what we own is uh, we grew up here playing football on the swing parks just still there. If I could tell my ten year old self that this is where I would be, this is where I'd be playing, like it's a dream come true. What advice would you give to your ten year old self? Stay off the curries. <laughs> I'm playing Transmit next weekend, um, and that's the first kind of home gig that we're going to be playing in the ages now. Are you excited? I've only thought about it every day for the last two years. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh <laughs> I don't know if you can swear on this, but... <laughs> anyway, beep the language, he's Glaswegian, just beep it out. Thank you very much. <laughs> what up, boys? That's man. Anyway, back to the music. How did you feel it got? Anyway, back to the music. Back to the music. <laughs> How did it go? You said. I was brilliant. Um, you could have asked for a better show. As I said, that was the first time back in two years. We didn't really know what to expect. I've got a band done with us as well, so that's a different dynamic. But it's brilliant, I to be back in the sunshine. And play. Well, it's no sunny now. It was middle of the night, but no. And you played some new songs that you've never played live before. Tell us about those. I went doing really well. There's a couple that's going to be on the EP. Um, but it's just, it was a weird thing when you're playing new songs, you don't really know how it's going to go, but the crowd took it in now. You smashed it. So lockdown, lockdown the past year has been really hard for everyone in the music industry. How did that affect you? Did it like, did you find it affected you, like it brought you back or? I think that the main thing that I seen was so I was still writing. I was still I've got to be set up in the house, so I was still recording. And um, I think the main thing that that it stunted was it was uh, it became difficult to to gauge when to release tunes because we didn't know when we we're going to be playing live again. I think that was the, the the most problematic side that we found in terms of still progressing. But as I said, I was still writing in the house, still playing. And I can feel the Right. Tell us all. Well, there's a tune called Feel the Fire. I had it sitting about before lockdown um, for the verse and then wrote, wrote the, the chorus in lockdown. It was one of the ones I was kind of struggling with. I had a, a decent um, it was a decent kind of verse and uh, pre chorus, but I didn't really know where to take it. And everywhere I, want, everywhere I went, I didn't really want to be. So it took me about five months to eventually write the chorus. <laughs> I went in, recorded it and passed it in Liverpool, which is sadly shut down now. Um, so it was good to get out to be one of the final sessions in there. But aye, tune's decent, um, happy with the production. Yes, I can feel the so, what's your plans for the rest of the, the day now? 
going to go see anyone else? Anyone else you're looking forward to see? Uh, get some food, get a booze, and then go see Liam. Liam Gallagher? Right. You supported him? Mm -hmm. How was that? Well, it was a mental time because we had supported Jerry the month before, supported Liam, and then supported Jerry the month after. So it was like a cluster of just like the most mental gigs ever. And uh, aye, class man. Brilliant. Enjoy your night, Dylan. Thanks Thank for talking much. to us. Yep. I know that it hurts, but it don't belong to you.